welcome back and we're in day two of vlogmas 2021 thank you for returning and if you're just tuning in be sure to check out yesterday too so today um was a work day so <laughs> i only had a couple of short little breaks to work on anything today and yesterday was not terribly productive if you watched yesterday's video you'll see that I ran into a bit of an issue getting yarn ready to work with. So anyway, uh, I did manage to get some progress on my uh, 24 days socks pattern, which I'm doing for the um, Cozy Treat for Your Feet make along. And that is being hosted by, <clears throat> excuse me, Moon Glow Yarn Co. And, um, Twin Stitches, which is Julianne Knitter on Instagram. And it's just a fun make-along, pretty laid back. Um, you know, basically they say if you can convince them that it's a holiday, winter, cozy, for your feet <laughs> sock, you can join in. Um, so that yarn, let me get that. Oh, here we go. So I got just a little bit done on that, <laughs> very little bit. I started the cuff. I've actually only got, I think, four rounds, and then I get to start my first stripe. So I did get the yarn caked up. <laughs> I, tempor I, I did not get out my tabletop swift. I didn't have time. It was getting late by the time I got done with work. So I mended my Swift as best as possible to be used, and I actually was able to cake that up. So that's good. Um, this yarn, again, is it's got a little bit of sparkle in it. You might be able to see it, but I kind of doubt it. So this yarn is a Dunroving yarn, and it is... Chic and Trendy, 100% Domestic Superwash Merino with some bling. And that's, again, from Dunroving Yarns. So that is what I'm using for my 24 Days socks. That pattern is by Potter and Bloom, and it's a, um, available on Ravelry. So I'm using my, not sponsored in any way, <laughs> Barva brand double um, yarn wind, yarn unwinder or yarn tamer, whatever you want to call it, um, for that yarn. And like I said, I've got maybe four rounds off to do. And then I will be ready to, you know what, I'll actually, I'll, I'll pick my skein for my first stripe right here, right now. <laughs> I put all of my minis in a basket. These are from, um, I think it was 2019 Farm Girl Fibers Advent, and I didn't get a chance to do anything with them. So this will be a perfect pattern since there's 25 skeins. So here we go. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. What color are we going to pick? Ooh, okay. Very appropriate. A holiday theme, holiday color. So this will be my first stripe. Um, I am going to uh, cast on a second cuff. As soon as I get these four rounds done, I'm gonna cast on a second cuff so that I can do um, the two socks at the same time on nine inch circulars. I'm doing my um, nine inch Chowgu circulars. So as soon as these four rounds are done, the other cuff, 12 rounds is done. And I will do the stripe for those. Uh, and then I, I actually made quite a bit of progress on my 24 days of sock ornaments that I'm going to be doing. Um, another sock was released today. I have not cast it on yet. Um, ran into just a little bit of a snafu with day one. Something doesn't look right here. <laughs> I kept knitting and thinking, gosh, when am I going to get to the turning the heel on this? Um, so after you finish this little bit up here, you knit. And it said knit for like 50 rows. It's probably a typo. 
<laughs> I reached out to the designer and she's checking. Um, it seems like there maybe was supposed to be 36 rounds instead of 56 rounds. <laughs> So I am going to be taking out 20 rows and then finishing this off and then I can cast on today's sock. So the yarn for that sock is this Dunn Roving. Um, they, are, they used to have uh, yarn in the box as one of their label names as well. It is their Rocky Coast Merino in the natural colorway 100% domestic superwash merino. And then it will have in the contrast, in the cuff, the contrast color. That is from uh, Ball and Skein. And she is here in Maine. This is the Weatherfield line. And the colorway is Carmen. It's a nice deep red. It's kind of getting blown out there. It's a like a deep orangey red. It looks a lot more orange there, but it really, it's like a ruby red, real dark ruby garnet red. And also, um, there will be a little green because this stocking has a poinsettia motif on it. So this will be the green for the leaves of the poinsettia. This is also a Dunroving yarn. This one is um, the monochromatic dyed gradient DK weights. So it is a DK weight, but um, you do duplicate stitch for the design. Uh, so I don't think the weight is going to make a big difference just doing the duplicate stitch. And those will be the colors for that sock. So I will be um, setting myself to taking out 20 rows of <laughs> little stitches now so that I can be ready to start the next part which should be the heel, that should go fairly quickly, and then I will cast on today's sock as well. And I'm keeping this all in one of my favorite bags. Love to get this out to the holidays. This is from one of our favorites, a Yarn to Die For Designs, Robin. And she makes really lovely bags. It's got a nice um, wrist, wrist uh, strap. There we go, I can talk. <laughs> and it's got the clasp there so you can use it with or without the wrist strap. Cute polka dot lining, two nice pockets. It's nice and sturdy, it will stand right, well, if I put it all the way on the table, it will stand right up on its own. <laughs> and it easily holds all three of these skeins while I'm working on this little stocking. Uh, I have even had a shawl I've, I've done a shawl in this bag before as well. Just love it and love Robin. <laughs> so that is the progress for today. Not a whole lot. Like I say, it was a work day and it was a pretty intense work day, as will be tomorrow. Um, but I will have um, better time after work tomorrow to work on things, catch up on anything that I'm behind on. Um, yeah, so that was pretty much it for today. <laughs> um, tomorrow, maybe I'm supposed to do it today. Um, I've asked my husband to bring in the totes with the Christmas decorations in them. And it was raining and miserable here today. So I didn't push the issue. <laughs> I'm hoping the weather will be better tomorrow and I'll have him bring the totes in then. So soon, hopefully, I can share some Christmas decorating. Uh, I actually have a fairly large Norfolk Island pine here in my um, craft room office. And I'm kind of excited to decorate that up. I'm thinking that my little mini stockings that I'm doing um, may decorate that. I'm, I'm not exactly sure how sturdy those branches are, so we'll see, but it will get some lights anyway. I think it'll be nice to have some lights on it. Uh, so I hope that you all are enjoying um, this month and leading up to the holiday. I hope you're enjoying watching other uh, Vlogmas episodes and uh, 
be sure to check out my sister Judith. <laughs> She's also posting here on the channel. Um, it, you know, it. I'd love to know what other folks you're watching for Vlogmas podcasts. Um, I've got subscriptions to a few uh, YouTube casters, <laughs> um, but I like to hear what other folks are watching and listening to as well. Um, I, I can just search for Vlogmas, but I would rather get some good recommendations. So yeah, let me know, let me know what you've been doing in these first two days of December and what some of your plans are. I'd love to hear. Um, so yeah, um, thanks again for coming back and I hope I see you again tomorrow. Bye.